Hello Aries and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the 29th of March to the 12th of April 2021 for the next two weeks. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle and this is the retro spirit oracle that I'll be using today to draw a couple of cards from just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious oracle has for Aries for the 29th to the of March to the 12th of April 2021. Oh, okay, something already has popped up. What else does Aries need to know at this time? What messages are there for Aries for the 29th of April, March to the 12th of April 2021. Okay, so you've got three cards in all that have flown out. So you've got study and you have desire and sunshine. That's actually pretty positive. So this may be a period of study for some of you. Um, the, you know, sort of the oracle suggests you, you learn something, you study, you go, you know, perhaps it's not simply um, going to, to uni or college or school and studying in that way, but you may want to research something. You may need to, um, to learn about something in, in a conscious and productive way. And this may well be linked to something that you desire, perhaps in order to get the outcome you desire or the thing that you, you, you're wanting or desiring, it may, you may need to study, to, um, to focus, to, to learn, to research in order to follow that. So perhaps you're being lured into other studying. Um, you know, this particular desire card depicts a mermaid, which does make me think of being lured into something. But there you go, desire. So these are the energies that are prevalent right now, desire, study and sunshine this is the happiest card in the tarot deck and it's just likewise in this particular oracle deck as well this denotes success um, abundance joy and nurturing um, happiness you know time of joy and happiness sunshine everything looking bright and up and clear your desires are important now, what it is you want, and also needing to study, needing to learn to research something. But let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. So we're going, let's see what is on the cards for Aries for the 29th of March to the 12th of April 2021. What sort of energies are around Aries at this time? What does Aries need to know now? And this is the Bone Fire Tarot that I'm using today. And I'll do my usual eight card spread for you with the first two cards depicting you, where you are now. And then the next two cards highlighting the challenges you face in this time. And perhaps what's brought you here, what's prevalent. And then the next two cards will offer some guidance from spirit for this time as you journey towards the final two cards which may reveal your possible outcome to this period. 
So let's see what you get. You have six of wands. This is a card of success, of happiness, of acclaim, of having achieved something and being recognized for that. And you've got the magician. You start off in a very positive note, actually. The magician is all about um, manifesting your desires. And then your challenges, though, uh, the Page of Swords and the Ten of Coins. And your guidance from Spirit is the Two of Wands and the Queen of Cups. And you've got the Two of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune in your outcome positions. And what have you got at the bottom of the deck? The Four of Coins holding on to something of value, right? So the Four of Coins is about, it's got a lot of positive um, aspects to it. It's about holding on to what is of value to you um, on a material level. But um, there's a warning with the Four of Coins, especially in this particular deck as well, that um, striving too much for material gain um, may leave you feeling empty you may be um, materially stable and secure, but there's maybe something lacking. You may be cutting yourself out from things of the heart, from things that you really enjoy and desire. Um, but it's nice as well to be stable and secure and to be frugal with the resources that you have. So that may come into the reading as well. But where you are now, there's a sense of, of having achieved something, of having gotten somewhere. Um, and that often comes with recognition from others around you. There's a sense that you can create now what you want. You can bring whatever you desire into manifestation simply because your, your willpower is strong, your intent is there, and um, you have the resources you need. You have the, the skills, the knowledge, the, the tools in order to, to really bring something about that, that you want simply because you want to. So it's, you know it's, it's, the week the, this two week period starts with a with an intense sense of purpose and drive and um, positivity for a lot of you. I mean you know you begin with the sunshine card, feeling on top of the world that you can do this. You've achieved something and you can you can get more. You can bring your desires into manifestation. But you face challenges at this time. Um, there's a sense here that um, you may need to seek the truth. You, you may need to um, be sure, take note that, and be sure to be acting in, um, in a truthful and honest way. Your integrity is important at this time. This is your challenge to not get lost in um, material um, and sort of like surface um, aims and and goals rather remember to to remain true to your moral compass the page of swords seeks the truth um it's about it is about trying to find your voice as well uh, and and sort of the sense i get when i look at this card today is like reaching too high um and perhaps you need to be a bit more honest with yourself a bit more forthright and realistic or you may find that you've climbed too high and put yourself in a precarious position. And for some of you, a matter of truth might be important. Someone might come and burst your bubble a bit with some words of um, truth that may be well um, honest, but may be hurtful and abrasive. Um, the challenge with the Ten of Coins is that the, the need to really take time to pause, to, to not rush into things, take the time needed to set firm foundations, to lay, um, you know, to, to prepare things and um, make sure you have all the knowledge, all the resources you need, because if you don't um, set firm foundations, you're not going to be able to manifest or build something of long-lasting 
stability and security. So there's your challenges, truth and taking the time to um, set firm foundations to, to really make sure this is properly grounded and um, deeply rooted in order to be um, truly abundant and secure and lasting. Your guidance from spirit here suggests that you may well be, um, you're at a point now, you may well be ready to, to, to make some important decision about which path you're going to follow, about which way you're going to take things. The Two of Wands is about, you know, being at a point where you have opportunities. You have, she has the world in the palm of her hands, indicating, um, great potential but the, you're at the doorway still and you need to make a choice about which way you're going about which direction you're going to take this in um, and that sort of fits in with you know pause a bit take the time to um, think about things to research to get all the knowledge and all the groundwork you need done before you surge forward with um, bringing this this desire into manifestation um, the Queen of Cups suggests, this particular Queen of Cups is absolutely immersed in her emotions, in emotions. She's sort of almost overly empathetic, that, that pained and um, intense look in her eyes. It's sort of all about being... Um, she She's in, you know, the... Queen of Cups is certainly immersed in intuition and emotion and all that, but she actually never, um, it doesn't overwhelm her the way it would with the Knight of Cups. So the, the card as an advice card suggests that um, you master your emotions. You, you, I get a sense of tempering things a bit in order to slow down, not rush too much. And I think this is the message here, this great warmth, clarity and sense of success but you need to um, master that that um, urge that that enthusiasm and temper it a little bit um, and be wary of how you're treating others this may well link in with the page of swords which as I said may be an abrasive truth coming at you um, so it sort of suggests here you you know you're making um you need to make a, a decision about which path you want to follow which way you want to take your um your sense of creativity and drive at the moment in order to manifest something you want there's a choice and you have this choice this is the good thing about it but also you must um you must master your emotions not get carried away i think is what it's saying um and and be wary of your dealings with others treat others in a, a compassionate and empathic way you still hold on to this dream you're still able to 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 move towards it successfully but you're needing to to be aware of the feelings of others around you as well and of and 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 of yourself but this is, seems to be indicating that this is going to be a time of intense emotion and it's going to need compassion and empathy and it brings you towards this choice this decision it's, i almost get a sense here that you 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 may well be stumped so you know after initially wanting to rush forward with things this decision becomes a bit of a fork in the road it becomes more difficult um, and you're unable to see clearly which way to go um, this figure is, is this woman is, is blindfolded sort of indicating that she's she can't see the way forward she can't see clearly which way to go she needs to tap into her intuition and she's right on top of the queen of cups who's all about deep intuition so it sort of suggests um, you you may pause, you may find yourself um, 
dithering for some time in, in trying to make the right decision and it suggests tapping into your intuition you know the way to go deep inside of you you just need to bring that knowledge up and um, use it in order to make this decision because until you make this decision you're not going to move forward however it does also show it the wheel of fortune bringing um, it may well bring good luck and 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 happiness and you know this is your time it's a wonderful card to get at the end of the spread but it shows a change of energies again and um, a, a time where things actually may well fall into place for you um, and be influenced by outside events in a positive way so that's actually really positive for you you've got this um this drive the sense of that you can do it and you can you just need to be aware of how you are dealing with people around you as well as your 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 moral compass your guidance your moral guidance needs to be um adhered to or listened to intuitively perhaps for some of you and you need to not rush you need to take time to um, set down the firm solid foundations and this may well involve research study and you'll be you know it shows you at a point where you you've you've got great opportunities and and it's does involve a, a decision that you may need to tap into your intuition in order to make and as you move forward you you may find that things flow for you because the the energies around you that show you know fortuitous i'm, I'm just really seeing the 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 clothes i mean the four leaf clothes here and I get a sense that this the, the change of fortune, the wheel of fortune here is good for you. Um, but you need to remember to reserve, um, to conserve your resources and your energies and your abilities. You don't, you know, you, I get a sense that, that you could mess it up by, by rushing things, by getting too excited. So... Um, <laughs> That it's very good, very very nice time for you to begin to work on something creatively. Just do it mindfully and don't rush it. So there you have it, Aries. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons and then enjoy the next two weeks. And God bless you till we meet again.